Okay, perfect. Apple231 said that she or he can hear me. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So I wanted to do the live so you can get a behind the scenes of how I work in a very small space. It is doable. You do have to be very organized in order to make it happen, um, but it can be done. So this is behind the scenes of processing your orders. I appreciate you guys so much for all of the support. If you've been on my website in the last 24 hours, you'll notice that everything, hi Michelle, you'll notice that everything is out of stock. I am restocking and everything will be available this coming Thursday. So um, right now, everything is out of stock. Hi, Patty. Yes, you caught one of my lives. Yeah. So this is um, the orders that I received this week. And like I said, I thank you guys for um, supporting my solo travel journey. I thank you guys for supporting the channel, um, purchasing my products. Everything that I have is made here inside of my van. I mentioned that in one of my previous videos, I do not have a sticks and bricks home. Um, this is my home. So everything is done here inside of the van. Carol, you said you put your order in. Awesome. How long ago did you place your order? Because I am going to process all of the orders that was received up until um, today. Yeah, so all the orders that was received up until today, those will go out in the mail on tomorrow. I have my tablet. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have my tablet because I'm going to be facing this direction. Um, there's really not a lot of space in this van to set up a camera where you can see me working. So I felt like this was the best setup um, that I can do. So I'm going to be turning this direction. I do have my tablet where I can read your comments. And like I said, this is just behind the scenes of me uh, processing my orders. I'm processing your orders. And if you have any questions, please ask those questions. Like I said, um, I have my tablet here so I can answer those questions. Okay, someone said they can hear me, but a lot of static. Is there anyone else that's getting static? Uh, Krisha said, I have been a horrible subscriber. What are you selling? A lot. I'm selling a lot of things. Um, here I have my facial oils. I have body butters. I have soaps. I have um, bath salts. I also have, which you guys probably can't see it. I'm looking on the camera here so maybe you can but these are my pineapple i'm sorry these are my wax melts these are the pineapples here i have stickers um t-shirts so i make t-shirts as well so those are the t-shirts i also make uh, let me get it i also make tote bags and I, I wanted to mention, if you guys have, I'm parked next to a train, so you're going to hear that in the background. I, I apologize about that. It runs like every hour, it seems like. But if you guys are having like a special occasion, maybe celebrating a 50th birthday or doing a family reunion and you're wanting someone to uh, make your t-shirts, I can make those t-shirts for you. So just let me know. Um, I'm wanting to venture out and do more than what I have been doing. T-shirts are really easy to make. I enjoy doing it. So please let me know. Um, yeah, if you have any special events coming up and you're needing t-shirts. Okay, you guys said the sound is static. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to fix that. Sorry, I'm really close to the camera. <laughs> I don't know where the static okay the static went away okay hopefully it stays away i'm not going to be on here a long time because i want to get all of these orders completed and shipped out tomorrow um so in order for me to do so i need to kind of focus on that but like i said i do have my tablet so please ask me questions and i would like to answer those questions uh you still sound clear with the static Okay, all right, so I'm going to get started. Um, so the first order that I have is Miss Alicia. So if you're on today's live, I am processing your order. 
when some of you leave me notes whenever you place an order i do read those notes so alicia thank you so much she says she's been watching for years but this is her very first order so i wanted to say thank you alicia so much for um, purchasing my products so i am going to use um, gloves for when i process the orders or i do use gloves when i process the orders so that my fingerprints aren't all over the products so when i get these orders i don't know if you guys are interested but i will share whenever i get your orders i print each and every one of them out i kind of go through it to see um, what items you purchase and the boxes that i need it makes the flow of everything to go by um, a lot faster when i have everything organized so i look through the orders i choose the boxes and yeah it's pretty easy um, like i said it can be a little challenging doing this in a tiny space but it is um it is doable so alicia she ordered the face oil um, she also got an oatmeal soap a bamboo soap dish and she ordered sugar kisses body butter oh i wanted to mention guys so I got a few more people that just chimed, um, that just joined the live. If you've been on the website in the last 24 hours, you'll notice that everything is on back order because I've sold out of everything and I'm restocking this week. I'm waiting on some supplies to come in. This is going to be your last opportunity to get my body butters. I will not have the body butters um, for the summer months because it will melt. And I just... I don't want to send you guys something that's melted. We know how um, delivery is. It sits on the back of those mail trucks in the heat. And um, I don't have the store space to carry ice packs to put in with the butters. So I'm not going to have those. They're only going to be seasonal um, from October through April is when you can purchase those body butters. So at the end of this month, um, my body butters would not be available. So this would be your last opportunity. So on Thursday, those items will be back on the website and you'll be able to make those purchases. So. I didn't think about this before, um, before the live but I did not link any of my products in the description box. I will go back and do that. So if you guys are interested in any of the items that you see um, in my video, like my pink bubble mailers, my white boxes, anything like that, I will link it in the description box of this video so that you can check it out. So someone said, are there any plans of doing bonnets? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. That would be easy to make and to store because, you know, being in this small space, hold on. <laughs> I know that was loud. Being in this small space, I am limited on what all I can store in the van. So bonnets wouldn't take up too much space. That's why I like doing the t-shirts um, because it doesn't take up a lot of space and I can do those all year long. I had some pretty wrapping paper. What? Aha! And then I had some cute paper. So, are there any of you guys that's on this live um, that run a small business out of your home? If so, comment below. I want to know. Joanne says she's buying a t-shirt. Thank you, Joanne. Okay, so the sound is much better. My website is whereistiffany.com. I, I forgot to put the link in the description box of this video. I do apologize for that. Um, if you are just not tuning in, like I mentioned earlier, if you hop on the website, mostly everything is out of stock except for the t-shirts. But most of my products are out of stock because I have to re stock those things and so on thursday they will be back in stock and they're available my butters are available till the end of the month i will not be able to sell those april through october i am back in uh, california and the temperature next week i think is peaking up to 
I think maybe like 80 something degrees. So it's just too difficult um, to keep those products from melting in the van. All right, so I'm going to add some pretty paper to the box. And I had a smaller box I wanted to put this in, but the size of this bamboo dish does not, um, doesn't fit in that box. So Patty, what are you thinking about doing? So Patty says she's wanting to start a small business, but she feel like no one is going to purchase her product and she don't have a clue as to how to run a business. So what is it that you're wanting to wanting to sell? I would like to, at some point, um, share my products outside of YouTube. It is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work, especially when you're traveling and you're on the road. It's hard to... Um, have that downtime hold on just a second it's hard to have um the extra time to work on products so it can be a bit challenging when you are constantly moving what did patty say i don't know why your comments stopped Let's see. so to help me keep up with the orders once I place them in the box uh -oh. I'm gonna stick that right my gloves is sticking to this thank you sticker I include a thank you note and I also wanted to mention because I like to give freebies so for those of you that are getting um, this here let me show you it's a magnet and sometimes I include those in your orders. If the back side is brown, like this one here is a magnet and not a sticker so that you're not trying to peel it off. Uh, my stickers have white backgrounds on them, but all of the magnets have this brown color background. So I have Alicia's order in the box and I keep these in numerical order as they come in. Um, each order has an order number, and I attach the slip in the box like so, and then I set it to the side. I normally set up my table, like fold up my table, excuse me, fold up my bed. My bed is a Murphy bed, and set up the table here, but I didn't do that this time because, again, it still would have been hard for you guys to see me. All right, so that's Miss Alicia's order. Are you on here, Alicia? Hey, A new. This is your first chat. Welcome. Okay, Roxy says I have sensitive skin. Will your face oil and soap work on my face? Hey, Roxy, if you missed my very last video, which was my skincare video, I did talk in that video. I have extremely sensitive skin. That's one of the number one reasons why I don't even wear a foundation on my skin because it is very sensitive. I haven't had any issues with um, the oils or the soap that I am using. I tell anyone do a, um, a test on whatever products you are putting on your body to see if you're sensitive to those items. I haven't had any issues. And like I said, my skin is extremely sensitive. Um, do I have a sample pack? I had a sample pack during Valentine's uh, for uh, my foot four of my soap fragrances. I no longer have those. Are you guys interested in a sample pack? If so, I can bring those back. Okay, so Patty's thinking about making um, coffee mugs and glass tumblers. Oh, those are a lot of fun. I did the glass tumblers. The problem that I had, I'm in a motor home and it was hard keeping um, the glass from clanking together, even when I had them 
um, separated, I was worried about breaking them. So that's something that I haven't been able to do. I'm wanting to bring it back in October. I do plan on purchasing an annual site and I can talk to you guys about that later. I am going to purchase an annual site where I'm stationary um, for several months where I can do more than what I'm able to do because I'm constantly driving. But I say give it a try, Patty. I enjoy doing it. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so Tina said, when will I take orders for my t-shirts? I currently have t-shirts in stock. Um, when you hop on the website, what I'm out of stock on are my butters, my uh, base oil, and there's a few other things like my stickers. I'm out of stock on those items. And so I'm just waiting for um, more containers to come in. I'm waiting for more stickers to come in. So different things like that. Um, but check the website. But like I said, on Thursday, everything will be back in stock. All right, so I have LaShawn. Are you on here, LaShawn? So LaShawn got a massage bar and a oatmeal bar. I'm gonna put her order in a small box. And something I'm, ex I'm always excited about something, but something I'm really excited about is I have personalized packing tape now. And so I will, once I get everything packaged, um, I will share some photos probably on Instagram so that you guys can see it. If you're not following me there, I do share on my Instagram stories. It's been a while since I post a picture, um, but on the stories, I do share photos there. Uh, Carol says she'd like to live. Thank you. So I'm going live again on Thursday. If my supplies come in, I'm going live again. Some of you asked me how do I make um, wax melts in the van. And so I'm going to go live and show you how I make that product. All right. More paper. Oh, you're more than welcome, Patty. We're in this together. You can do it. But you, you have to get over your fear, though. But you can do it. All right. So oatmeal. And then she has the massage bar. I didn't have any of those to show you guys when I did the skincare routine. But these are the massage bars. I hope they're picking up on the camera. I see like a shiny reflection. And they're the same weight as the soap bars. Something I noticed is that this camera here, I'm sorry, this video is delayed. So if you're commenting, they're coming in a little bit slow. And a thank you card. So Patty, um, again, if you have any questions, just ask me. Um, you can DM me on Instagram, where is Tiffany? You can, um, ask me questions on my skincare video. You can ask me questions on this video about starting a small business, especially those tumblers. And I will be more than helpful, more than happy to um, help you out with that and answer whatever questions you may have. But I strongly encourage you to do it. Uh, something I wanted to mention, I make everything including the packet, not the packaging, um, the labels that go on my products. I do all of that myself. So Patty, you can do it. <laughs> um, it's a lot of work, but it can be done. It can be done. And if I can do it in a small van, if you're in a sticks and bricks house, you definitely can do it.
Okay, so we got third eye mind trick just joined, so she may have mentioned, but does she make all this in her van? Yes, I make everything in the van. It's hard for me to film it to what I did when I was making this product. I did eight second clips. I want to put together like a short um, reel or short video to share it to my Instagram stories. But yeah, I make everything in this van. And if I get more orders um, where I feel like I can't process them all in the van, here in California, I do have some friends here that lives in a sticks and bricks home. I will have to go to their house to process the orders. But what I have now, um, I was able to do just fine in the van. So this is another reason why, and I've shared that with you guys in previous videos, this is another reason why I want more space because there's a lot of things that I'm wanting to do that I'm not able to do in the van, or if I do it in the van, it can be a bit challenging um, to get those things done. Yes, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Apple. I appreciate that. Oh, Joanne. So Joanne is on here. I know several of you guys have read her comment. She had a stroke and was in the hospital. So she just wanted to thank all of us for the prayers. I hope you're feeling better, Joanne. Yes, Angela, they sure are. Okay. Is there anyone else that's interested in a soap sample pack? If so, comment below and let me know. Okay, I got a couple of people that's interested. Thank you, Sunshine. Roxy, thank you. Are there anyone on here that has placed an order within the last, what, week? Okay, we got a lot of people that's interested. All right, I can make a sample pack. Have I traveled to Monument Valley? Tina, you're the second person that have asked me that question. I did a Q&A video. I answered probably about 30 of your questions. I haven't had a chance to edit. I am working on a video for a client. So it's been crazy busy, crazy, crazy busy, but I answer that question in the Q&A video. So once I get my head above water, I will release that video. Hi, Rachel. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. So a lot of people are interested in the sample pack. Got it. So we got a soap bar, oatmeal soap bar. Shea butter, sugar kisses, and oil. So as I mentioned earlier that I make everything including my thank you cards. So not only the labels that go on my products, the labels that go on my soap, I make the stickers, I make your thank you cards. So again, if you're interested in that, just let me know and I will share the information with you. So the only thing that I don't make are my fragile stickers, which I do put this on my packages. And of course I don't make my thank you stickers, which I get those from Hobby Lobby. And I get these off of Amazon. I will link those in the description box. As I mentioned earlier, I forgot to put the links in the description box. 
So I will do that after this video. So normally when I'm packaging, uh, processing orders, I'm listening to music or the radio, um, like talk shows or watching a movie. That's it. All right, that was Miss Terry. Yeah. Hey Trish, I am packaging your order today. I remember your name. And the reason why I remembered your name is because um, when you filled out your information, you typed it in all caps. So I remember your name. So yes, I am processing your order today. And I think it's not too far. Oh, you know what? Your order's coming up. I have Angela's and then I have your order. Yeah. Okay, so we got a shea butter. Sugar Kisses, oil, and oatmeal soap bar. Let me scoot those over. Angela, are you on here? Okay, Trooper said, do I have unscented products? Yes, I do, Trooper. So my regular shea butter, it is not scented. Um, if you've ever smelt shea butter, <clears throat> excuse me, if you ever smelt shea butter, it has um, a nutty scent to it. That's what it smells like. There is no scent to my shea butter. My sugar kisses, it is scented. So there is a sweet, delicious scent to that. And my facial oil, it is not scented. There's no scent to, um, to my facial oil. My soap, it does have a light scent to it, um, but that's about it. And I have to be very careful with, like I said, the products that I put on my skin because my skin is very sensitive. <laughs> you, Trish, you are more than welcome. Thank you. I normally use pink paper because I love pink and it makes me happy. This is some leftover paper from the orders that I processed around Thanksgiving, um, Valentine's. All right, Trish, your order's coming up. For those of you that just tuned in, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. We should have set the table up so I have more space here on my dining room table. All right, Trish, let's see. Vanilla and oatmeal. I'm packaging your order, Trish. <laughs> she ordered some oatmeal soap and vanilla poppy seed. Classic, I think I missed your first 
message but she says she has some cheetos pjs did you say something previously about pink okay so we got more people interested in the sample box i can make that happen okay so pamela said why are you not using a tape gun because I ran out of tape and I just picked up this roll of tape when I was out yesterday. But normally I do and then I don't have to worry about it sticking to my glove. Uh, thank you, Apple. Oh, my t-shirt. Yes, I got this. I'm sorry. Now I know what uh, she was talking about. Um, I got this t-shirt from JCPenney from the men's department. They have the cutest, cutest graphic t-shirts. That's where I got this from. Okay, Heavenly to Heavenly said, how do I order? Where is Tiffany.com? If you're just now tuning in, I am pretty much sold out of everything. The website will be restocked on Thursday. So this Thursday, everything will be restocked. The only thing that I have available on the website right now are t-shirts, uh, wax melts. Ooh, I have a new scent coming out on Thursday. So... I'm coming back on Thursday for another live stream and I'm going to make wax melt. You guys ask me, how do I do it in the van? So I will be back if my orders come in and hopefully they do. Okay, so this is uh, M. Cornick has a t-shirt and a tote bag. If you are on here, I'm going to process your order later because I need the space to be able to spread the t-shirt out. I like to length roller the t-shirt and I don't have enough space. So once I get some of this product off of the counter, then I come back and do that. Um, hopefully if it's not, if I haven't been on this live too long. Are you on here? Okay, we got Miss Michelle. Hi, Michelle. We are trying to meet up at one of my meetups, and she was never able to come out. Hopefully, our paths cross. I remember your name. Okay, sugar kisses and balance oil. Thank you, Amy. So I got a few compliments. Um, I appreciate you guys and the compliments. It's been crazy. For those of you that are unaware, I've been on a weight loss journey for several months. This past month, I've been so busy that I have not been able to consistently um, walk the 10 miles. The weight is still coming off, but I haven't been able to walk 10 miles. I've been in this van, I kid you not. For the last nine days straight working i am taking a mental health break tomorrow and i'm going to the zoo i need to go see some wildlife because i'm going to the zoo tomorrow and i'm going to take off on tuesday and be ready to go wednesday so i'm looking forward to walking around the zoo so my goal is to walk 10 miles tomorrow I've been doing a lot of standing here in this kitchen, making orders. Oh, did my tape just run? It did. So I'm looking forward to walking. Something else. I am four minutes away from the beach. And like I said, I've been in this van working for nine days straight. I got to see the beach. Mm. Maybe one time, and that's about it. So it is on my mental health um, 
break list for Tuesday. So Tuesday, I'm going to the movies. There's a new uh, Ghostbuster movies that came out. Have you guys seen it? So I'm going to the movies on Tuesday. And I'm not sure what else. Oh, and the beach. I'm definitely going to the beach. So it's just a short walking distance. We got, we got sugar, facial oil, and so bad. Oh, yours was a pajama set. Where did you get it from? Classic. What's the longest I stayed at a campground? I think six weeks. Yeah, I think six weeks is the longest that I've stayed at any camp. No, you know what? I take that back. Uh, the campground that I stayed at before I got here, I was there for two months. Two months. So 60, a little over 60 days. In October, and I, I know I've shared that before on the channel, but I have a lot of new people. April through October is my busiest travel season. This year is not going to start into May, and I mentioned it in previous videos that I'm meeting up with some friends at Yosemite. I plan on visiting Kings Canyon National Park and Sequoia National Park on my way up to Yosemite, but I'm meeting some of my RV friends up there in May. And then we're joining again um, to hang out. So, So I'm looking forward to being still come October. I'm not going to do a lot of crazy driving like I've done in previous years because now I have a business that I need to be stationary so that I can I can work. Okay, Trish said, do I ever come to the East Coast, Florida? Um, as far as driving, no. Flying, yes. Florida is a state that I can honestly say I probably never, never would drive to. It is too far of a drive. I spend the majority of my time here on the West Coast. Um, and I don't think I can do that drive again. When I left, not last year, but the year before, I went to Tennessee, Carolinas, Virginia, uh, Niagara Falls, New York. When I came back, I said I'd probably never do that drive again. I'd probably never drive east of the Tennessee state line. It's just too far. Too, too far. Uh oh. Am I about to mess up? Yeah. All right. Michelle, if you're on here, that was your order. <laughs> and I even print my address labels as well. I don't think I've ever shared with you guys, but I do have a inkjet printer that I'm able to print everything on. Right. So we have Shantae. Are you on here, Miss Shantae? Two massage bars. So as I mentioned earlier, I make these labels. I purchase my paper from Hobby Lobby. They sell this texture paper by um, the sheets. I purchase it when it's on sale and I can print out about five labels per uh, sheet of paper. I have some smaller, it's my tape. I thought I had everything out. Yeah, here's my tape. All right, Miss Shante ordered two massage bars.
Hi, Brenda. Thank you so much. My butters will be back in stock on Thursday. Um, the t-shirts are in stock now and the stickers will be back in stock on Thursday as well. Yay! I, okay, HB, if you're just tuning in, all the orders that was received as of this morning, they are going out in the mail tomorrow. So you guys get to see that. I'm going to film taking your orders to the post office. I'm not taking the van. <laughs> you guys have to wait and see the video. So I'm filming like multiple videos right now. It's been a very busy, busy week. No, I don't, Classic. Um, I take everything to the post office. So she was asking me if I use pirate ship. I take everything to the post office. Um, I am wanting to, I think I messed up this piece of tape. I need a, what is it called? A label printer so that I can start printing prepaid labels and avoid standing in line at the post office trying to mail all these orders and what typically happened for those of you that have placed orders sometimes when I go to process your order it's cheaper to put it in a flat rate envelope so then I have to stand there and take the address label off of my pretty box and put it on a flat rate envelope because the weight of it it can be pretty pricey and because I'm on the West Coast, for example, my orders that's going to New York is very expensive. And so those flat rate envelopes save me a little bit of money. I cannot get this tape undone. Ah. I didn't mess up my tape. All right. So this order is going to get pretty tape on the bottom and top. So in my last video, I had asked you guys what was your Easter plans? What are you cooking? Have you guys decided yet? I plan on going to the beach. I'm going to take that day and spend it at the beach. So all I want to do is just relax. Relax at the beach. So what are you guys doing? Hey, May, it's great to see you as well. Okay, you get label sheets and use your printer. Do you use the Avery label sheets? So what I use for printing, um, I was printing them out on paper and taping them down to the boxes. Now I print them out on sticker paper. This is going to be my first time trying it. Hopefully it adheres to the box and doesn't peel up. When I was in corporate America, I used the Avery address labels to mail things out. They just charge so much for those labels, but it does make it um, the process much faster because you're not having to cut. Because when I print them out on a sheet of sticker paper, I then have to go in and cut each individual label. And when I was doing that the other day, I'm like, this is taking too much time. I need to find a easier process. Because when I have, you know maybe one order coming in a week or two 
I can hand write those out instead of, you know, turning on the printer using ink. It's just a cheaper option. And you try to find different ways to save money <laughs> for sure because it can be very expensive. All right, that is Miss Shantae. I gotta fix that tape because I don't wanna use my personalized tape for the top and bottom. Let's see. Okay. Disneyland. Hey, Nikki. Oh, you going to Disneyland on Easter? I'm jealous. <laughs> Take me with you. Amazon has label paper. Which brand do you recommend? And that's another thing. When I was looking at different label papers, some of the reviews was horrible. Some was okay. You just don't know until you try it. Okay. All right. I'm going to do this. Aha. Anybody have any tips on how to fix this tape? <laughs> I think I cut it too deep that every time I pull off a strip, it's going to tear like it just did. Goodness. Okay, let's see. I got my notification getting your order ready. I cook peas and rice and chicken tenders. How about you? Ooh, that sounds delicious. Um, let's see. What did I eat today? Oh, for breakfast, I had some oatmeal two hard-boiled eggs and for lunch which is almost six o'clock lunch dinner I was planning on eating some leftovers but I ran out of time and looked up and only had mm, six minutes to get on this live so I have not eaten I have not eaten anything other than breakfast that was it do I have a scale yes I do have a scale because I have to weigh out all of my products. So I weigh out the oil, I weigh out the shea butter, I weigh out everything. So yes, I have a scale and I purchased the scale for the purpose of um, when I plan on doing shipping labels, pre-printed shipping labels. But I haven't learned how to do that yet. So if you have any tips, please share. Because it definitely make the process go by a lot quicker because I want to stand in the line at the post office and people give me the ugly eye so what I'm going to do tomorrow when I take these orders because I'm only oh my god a couple of blocks away from the post office I'm too embarrassed to take all of them because it is a lot of orders I had the lady laughing the other day when I was dropping off orders I'm like you may not want to come to work on Monday because I got a, a lot of orders to uh, mail but I'm just take 10 at a time and mail it and that's another way for me to get in my steps uh, before I head to the zoo because my total steps is 10 miles tomorrow okay Darlene said I love my shea butter and the warmers oh thank you Darlene I'm glad to hear that thank you I appreciate you purchasing thank you so much Nikki said enjoy the beach I am going to enjoy it But I would rather be at Disney. <laughs> I would rather be at Disney. Somebody messaged me the other day. Um, asked me when I was going back to the parks. I try to go every chance I get. This tape is slowing down my productivity. Congratulations on all the orders. Thank you. Is that Elcor? Am I pronouncing your name right? Yes, that is correct. And if you go to my website, whereistiffany.com, you can read all of the ingredients that's listed in my products.
Okay, Sunshine, are you on Instagram? Are you going to ride the scooter? <laughs> nope, you guys haven't seen that scooter in a minute. I'm not going to ride the scooter, but I am going to ride a bicycle. A bicycle you guys haven't seen. I caught a lot. Just me, I caught a lot for the first time. Hi there. I appreciate you guys being here. On the tablet, it's not even telling me how many people are here. Oh, I got over 200. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to take this down for just a second. I'll put my tape here in hopes of me not messing it up again. It's not the ideal place, but it'll work. I, thank you. I honestly appreciate each of you guys for being here. I felt so guilty because I haven't been able to put out a video. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And um, it's hard to find that balance. And like I said, I've been in this van for nine days straight working on this. This here. I filmed, I'm working on a client's video, so I filmed a couple of scenes. I got one more scene to film tomorrow or Tuesday. I wanted to do it this weekend, but it rained, 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 rained every single day. Rain was supposed to happen today. It hasn't, but I just wasn't able to do it. So um, I miss you guys. I definitely miss you guys. Um, I plan on going live more. My next live, like I said, if my product come in, I will go live on Thursday so you can see me make the wax melt in the van. It's easier for me to do the lives than to sit down, film a video, edit the video when I have a couple of videos in queue that I'm doing for clients. Okay, oatmeal soap bar and face oil. Uh-oh, am I out of... A lot of boxes. Let's see. I hate to put it in this. Let me see if I can find a box. Well, I think I do have a box or boxes. Bump the camera. Make sure you guys can still see me. I hope so. All right. You go, girl. Rod, hit that like a button. <laughs> yes, I've had fun. It's a really cute bike. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's very cute. And I have been riding it around. Um, doing this here i cannot move the van so the bike has been great because when i needed to run out to like the dollar tree ah, or even walmart i just hopped on the bike i even rode it to the post office Carolina. Oh, thank you. Someone said they enjoy. Oh, just me. You enjoy my smell. Thank you. I'm really in a good mood. I'm in a very good mood. I'm happy to get these orders processed and mailed out to you guys. I'm very excited. All right, Miss Helen, are you on here? This is your order. So how was everyone's weekend? How's the weather where you are? I mentioned earlier that it's supposed to peak to the 80s. 80s. That's hot. 
Are you guys still experiencing winter light temperatures or is it starting to feel like spring? And for those of you that tuned in um, that wasn't at the beginning of this live stream video, I mentioned that if you've been on my website in the last 24 hours that I am out of stock on my body butters, oils, and different things like that, they will be back in stock on Thursday. This will be the last time that you'll be able to purchase these orders, I'm sorry, these items, the butters, not the oils, but the butters, until October of next year. It's too hot for me to keep that butter in my van. And also, whenever I ship it to you, it's sitting on the back of a mail truck. The temperatures are starting to warm up. There's no way to keep it from melting. I don't have the space to carry ice packs or anything like that in the van. So unfortunately, they will not be available until October um, later this year. Blizzard. Oh, I need to come where you are, Karen. Oh, yes. Okay, so Just Me said, what am I making? I make um, skincare products from body butters to face oils to soap. I also have bath salt. I do have bath steamers coming. Um, I make wax melt. I make t-shirts, um, stickers. I make a lot of things. And they're on the website. Most, like I said, are out of stock. And they will be back in stock on Thursday. We're in Atlanta. We get all four seasons in the same day. <laughs> oh, I know all about that. Yeah, I know all about it. Okay, so that was Miss Helen. Oh, thank you, Kendra. She said, it's so beautiful to see you striving. Tiffany, continue to prosper and be safe. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, well, thank you. Um, is it Vernice? Is that how you pronounce your name, Vernice? Thank you for the tips. I appreciate that. Oh, Joshua, thank you so much for the generous um, gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Someone said it's in the 50s today. It feels like... 60s 50 and 60s thank you for the generous gifts i appreciate it guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up just me oh just me you'll be in atlanta tomorrow atlanta i think was my biggest meetup i think they still hold the record Someone said, hi, winds. Yeah, it's been windy here the last couple of days. Windy and raining. Lots of rain in the Carolinas. Dropping below 35. I won't complain. All year I have summer-like temperatures. Um, well, I say summer. All year I have, I chase like 70 degree weather. That's what I need to say, all year. But it's starting to heat up. I'm normally not in California or in Southern California this late in the year because it gets that hot but I'm waiting to head to uh, Yosemite with some friends oh Trisha's having a birthday tomorrow happy birthday Trisha let me look on this screen because some of my comments are stalled let's see okay they're a little delayed Oh, you're getting lots of birthday love, Trisha. Hopefully our paths cross, Tracy. Um, she was saying that she, hey, that she didn't get a chance to meet me. This year so far, I've met six of you guys. So you never know. You never know. I've met six of you guys. And actually... I met six of you before this month. So between January and February, I met six of you guys. So just will me to you.
wherever you are, just will me to you. You never know. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have Brenda. Uh oh. I'm talking. I want to make sure I didn't mess up. <laughs> All right. So she has a shea butter and face oil. Actually, let me use that. Okay, me and this tape, we're going to have some problems. Because <laughs> it is not, I think I ruined it. And I don't have any more tape. Nobody had any suggestions on how I can fix it? Oh, so much love, Tricia. I have the best followers. You guys, I hear it all the time. People like you have you get the nicest comments. You guys are amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so I think I only heard from one person on what they're doing for Easter, and that was Disneyland. So are you guys cooking? Or are you going to someone else's house? Hi, CC World. Hey, beautiful girl. How are you doing? Guys, CC has a YouTube channel. And it is CC, like the letter C. CC World TV. If you want to check out her channel. Are you guys still traveling in your motorhome? Well, I get, not a motorhome. They were in, I think, a, a fifth wheel. She has a beautiful family. And I got a chance to meet them on the East Coast. Church. Ooh, somebody's What are you cooking, Tracy? Hi, Charlie Grace. Going to your parents' house. Going to Ruby Falls. Where's Ruby Falls at? That sounds familiar. Took a few days off to do absolutely nothing. I don't blame you. That's why I'm taking a mental health break. I, I've been in this van for nine days straight working. I am taking a mental health break the next two days. So tomorrow, I'm going to the zoo. I will be at the San Diego Zoo. So if you guys plan on going to the zoo, I will be there tomorrow. And then Tuesday, I'm going to the movies, the beach. I don't eat out, but I think I'm going to treat myself to something. Okay, I did pronounce it right? Okay, good. Oh, lamb chops. Okay, who's in San Diego that's cooking for Easter? <laughs> who's cooking? I can come do a drive-by. Okay, sounds good, Cece. Thanks for joining my live. I'm having problems with this tape and it is slowing me down. Church and cooking. Okay, so Ruby Falls is in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ooh, I love waterfalls. I've seen so many beautiful waterfalls. Church and cooking. Is that all you guys are doing? Church, cooking, and relaxing. That sounds like a great weekend. Yes, I would do a drive-by, Kimberly, <laughs> and pick up my plate and keep on going. I would not interfere with your family functions. Just slide my plate and I keep on going. Okay, so Joshua said, what's the difference between refined shea butter and unrefined shea butter? Refined shea butter has been processed. Unrefined has not been processed. So, if you smell shea butter, it has a nutty scent to it. I got tape everywhere. Hold on. Because I don't want to get this in your order. <laughs> All right. So, if you smell shea butter, it has a nutty scent to it. If you add any type of scent to it, the nutty scent overpowers the shea butter and you really can't smell it. Also, I don't know if you guys can see, it's almost 
like a light light uh what color would you call this like a like a cream color well adding color to it is really hard you have to add a lot of color to it so when you purchase refined shea butter they bleach the shea butter which is a white color you get it has no scent so when you add color to it it pops and if you add any fragrance to it you can smell it so you can add scent to the refined shea butter i'm sorry the unrefined shea butter but it's not going to smell All right, do you guys have any questions for me? I mentioned earlier that I did a Q&A. I answered probably about 25 of your questions. I think a little bit more than that. So that's coming out. I have a client video that I'm working on that's coming out first. But that Q&A is coming. And what are you guys wanting to see? I feel like I've shared everything and I don't know what other videos you would like to see. Um, I know you guys love my cooking videos. But what else would you like to see? Um, comment below and let me know. Because I'm kind of stuck on what to share, to be honest with you. And maybe I'm just in my head too much. But every time I have an idea, I'm like, you already did that. You know, how many cleaning videos can I do how many organization videos can I do like I've done all of those things I am going to do a video on how I keep my teeth bright white so that's going to come at some point okay tape don't mess up but I don't know what else to share honestly and I'm sure all YouTubers get to this point. And I don't know. I just don't know what else to share. <sighs> so this is the part that you guys don't see when people are working. Not everything go according to plan. Yesterday when I was making my labels for the soap, it took me almost an hour to get the printer working. It kept telling me that the cassette was open. I'm like, no, it's closed. And that's where you load the paper. That's called a cassette. It kept telling me it was open. So I would have to power it off, power back on. Did that over and over. Finally got it to work. Then the printer was just idled. Then the printer was offline. <laughs> and I just wanted to scream because I'm like, I don't have time for this. Like, I have so much work to do. I don't have time to sit here and play with this printer. So you go through things like that. And then when I was making the shea butter, I, um, when I'm blending to get the extra shea butter off of the blade to the blender, I lift it up and I keep it going and it knocks off the extra shea butter. Well, I wasn't paying attention and I act, and it's going fast. I had it like on the highest speed. I accidentally stuck the blade back in the shea butter and just splattered everywhere so then that was another hour of cleaning up my mess so it don't always go according to plan and of course going through that i'm like i cannot film this so that's why i only did short eight seconds clips and if you guys follow me on instagram you have been seeing short clips i did post a clip um, of some of my soaps the other day when I was processing another order. Okay. I'm about to throw this tape out the window. <laughs> I'm about to throw it out the window. I'm tired of playing with this tape. I could have had seven more um, orders packed and ready to go. Now it's sticking to everything. I need a bigger van. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to say van. I need a bigger motorhome. I need more space. 
But something I've been doing, I've been thinking about other things to do um, in the van. I would love to be a plus size fashion model. Short story. When I was younger, I wanted to be a Lane Bryant model. So I filled out the application, went through the process, and I was too short. So unless you see me in person, you don't know that I am a shorty small. And so there go my modeling chances. But now things have changed and companies, they don't care. They just want you modeling their clothes. So I guess there's another opportunity for me to do it. But I wanted to be a model. And I also wanted to be a, a Lancome. I used to wear, not Lancome, uh, what was that mascara? L'Oreal. I wanted to be a L'Oreal mascara model back in the day as well. Have any of you got a chance to do any type of modeling? I want to know. Seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, I would love to be a plus size model. Hopefully one day. What I need? I need some smaller thank you cards. Because these cards here, they don't fit in this box. So what I have to do is cut them down so that they fit. So I'm not going to close this. They don't fit. Okay. Your comment stopped on my tablet. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. But my comments disappeared. I don't know. That's weird. Ah, there we go. Oh, thank you, Carol. Fiona, hey, girl. <laughs> no, you cannot be my agent. Oh my gosh, she is so funny. She leaves the best comments. Like she always had me last laughing. Okay. Comments are back. I don't know why they disappeared. All right, Miss Brenda. That's your order, sweet girl. Thank you, thank you. For those of you that are just not tuning in. I got a request to make a sample pack of my soaps. I had that around Valentine's. And I'm going to bring it back for those of you that are interested. And I think I only have one person on here that has received their order that said they like their butter. And I think soap. Thank you. I appreciate your feedback. All right, who do we have? Arnissa, are you on here? She has a pretty big order. Let's see. I need a bigger box. I purchased these boxes here from Hobby Lobby. When I get bigger orders that don't fit in a box. She has a t-shirt on her order. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't have the space on the counter because I like to length roll those and wrap them up. So I'll add that to her order a little bit later. But yeah, so I get these boxes here from Hobby Lobby. They're very cute decorative boxes. But my white boxes, which is what I like to use, I get those from Amazon.
I got a chance to meet her um, at one of my meetups. She's a really sweetheart. Very sweet. So the comments have disappeared on my tablet. Sorry guys, I thought I could read the comments on the tablet. I'm not able to stand in front of this screen. Rachel said, do I have a favorite body butter? My regular shea butter. Guys, I don't know why my comments are not showing up on the tablet. The tablet is delayed, so when I come back over here, I see how big my face is in the camera. I'm sorry to be so close to the camera. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's see. Uh, Miss Fiona, did you say model some stilettos uh, so I can break my neck? <laughs> I'm not do you oh my god so as I mentioned I am a shorty small so when I worked in corporate America all I would wear was stilettos I kept my feet in some three four inch shoes until they messed up my feet <laughs> yep and then I started wearing my flat ballet slippers no miss miss uh, Fiona I'm not wearing those stilettos <laughs> Guys, don't forget to hit thumbs up on this video. So what products do I use for my printer? Also, what products do I use for my labels? I am using Avery um, sticker sheets. And I can't... I just purchased... I think it's Avery... I don't even see it to show you. No, I'll take that back. Hold on. This is the sticker sheet that I was using. Can you see that? This is, I'm sorry, not the sticker sheet. This is the, um, the laminate sheet because the stickers were not waterproof. Hold on. Now that you asked me, I gotta, I gotta show you. Cause it's gonna drive me crazy if I don't. Okay, here we go. And I can create Amazon links. But here is, can you see that? You can do a screenshot. All right, so these are the stickers that I'm using, or the labels, and it's one sheet. And it's a matte finish. And on here it says it's waterproof. It is not waterproof. But this is it. So just one sheet. Then, because it's not waterproof, I laminate it with these adhesive sheets. These are the cheaper in price at Walmart. But they were out. So I picked up scotch. I thought it was Avery. I'm sorry. I picked up scotch. So those are the limiting sheets. I do, then this is just me because I'm OCD and I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I wanna find a company that can print these for me because I'm cutting them, cutting them myself. And sometimes, I need a glove. I don't always cut straight. Other people wouldn't even notice it but I notice it <laughs> and it's because I'm OCD and it drives me insane 
Plus, like I said, it takes a couple of hours for me to do that when I can be spending that two hours doing something else. I just don't have the time, to be honest. But I don't. Marvelous said, I just ordered. Oh, thank you, Marvela. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the support. That paper doesn't match. <laughs> I'm going to find something prettier. Ooh, I got some black paper. That would be cute. Yes. Or should I have gone with white paper? I guess pink would have been pretty too. Like a solid pink. I just feel like those hearts would clash with the inside design of this box. Oh, that black is pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. Arnissa, if you're on here, this is your order. That I'm packing. And I'm not showing it on camera, but I do add some filler to the order so it's not bouncing around in the box. All right, so she has two bamboo salt dish. Get those. They can get two in this bag. Oh, Tasha said, I miss you, Tiffany. <laughs> Much love from Brooklyn, New York. I miss you guys too. I, I do. I've, I've mentioned it before on the channel. You guys are the highlight of my day. I have been extremely busy i'm working on this here i'm working on a video for a client and i just haven't had a chance to edit videos i film videos i just haven't had a chance to edit those videos so i do miss you guys i am going live again on thursday um, for those of you that are interested in how i make the wax melt i am going live on thursday if my product comes in to show you that Two exfoliating bags. Thank you, Laugh Medicine. I appreciate the tip. So someone said try sticker mule they offer a special each week that's who i make my um that's who prints my stickers and i think i've shared that with you guys a few times my stickers are waterproof so you can put them on your vehicle you can put them on your water bottle i have several on the back of my phone like my stronger than a storm that's one of one of my favorite stickers um i have them on my refrigerator down here and they last and they don't fade the color is so vibrant i looked at sticker mule for ordering labels they're not cheap so i have to wait until they have a special but they are not cheap at all okay she has two shea butters oil all right all right so she got two shea butters Two soap dish, two exfoliating bags, face oil, and a t-shirt. Now I'll add the t-shirt a little later. Right. Sticker and a thank you card. <laughs> no, Fiona, I am not packing that. <laughs> not at all. Sunshine, about a week. And that's coming from a person that bathes twice a day. Okay. 
All right, guys, ask me questions. What do you want to know? Ask questions. Oatmeal and shea butter. So far, and shea butter. This is Miss Becky. Are you on here, Becky? So Trisha asks, "Are you? Is that Trisha? Yes. So Trisha, the face oil." is jojoba oil, rose ship oil, and almond oil. And I have a video, I think it was my very last video, which was my skincare routine video, if you want to check it out. So it's all natural. There are no scents. There's no added scents to my oil. At some point, I may add scent to a different face oil or body oil, but not this one here. No scents. Oh, not the expiration date, Petra. I, I'm sorry, did I misunderstand your question? I thought you were asking how long does it last, like the bar itself. I guess I should have asked for a little clarification before I responded. All right, one shea butter. So HB said, well, the shea butter is still available until the end of this month. It'll be back in stock on Thursday. So check back on Thursday and you will be able to order it. And like I said, it won't be available again until October. So um, my butters will be October to April um, every year. So you still have a chance to order it. The website is whereistiffany.com. Fiona, you can come help me, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. There was times that I really wish I had some help. Nine days straight here working, 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 working. I wish I had a little help. Um, I am back in California. I went home for a short period, but I am back. And I will be at the San Diego Zoo tomorrow. If any of you guys are in the area, that's where I'll be. Walking around. Enjoying the wildlife. I love going to the zoo. Love it. <laughs> Petra, I love your comment. She said, greetings from super cold, wishing it was spring, Sweden. <laughs> oh, 
I wish I was in Sweden with you enjoying some of that cold weather. Because 85 degrees in March, that's hot. That's very hot. Oh, they do have waterproof. Okay, so I was talking about um, needing some waterproof labels. And Avery do have waterproof labels. Okay, that's good to know. Do they come on a sheet like what I showed you guys? Something that I forgot. And I just realized this. I purchased this. They're little small uh, cosmetic spatulas. Can you see that? I thought those would be fun. To scoop in your butters where you don't have to get it in your nails you can use this here so i'm gonna go back to the orders that have uh, shea butter and add one of these to it so if you order shea butter check your package because i'm going to add one of these to it yeah i've already uh i've already taped off the gift paper so I'm going to just slide it underneath that. But it'll be in your box, so don't throw it away. Please, please, please don't throw it away. But I thought these would be cute to add to your orders. I just got to have them because I'm talking. All right. Hey, D2 Nice. You're not late. I'm glad you're here. Okay, Bernice, thank you so much for the information. Uh, HB said, if you were here, you would help. I would I would definitely take you up on your offer. <laughs> I would. All right. So as I mentioned, I make stickers. So I'm going to show you a few of my stickers. And they are waterproof they're waterproof. Can you see that? I love the color. You guys know I love color. I love, love, love color. Yeah. So I am getting ready to package Margaret's order. She ordered four stickers. These are just one more chapter sticker. So she has four of those, four large love who you are she has four large if i don't have any stickers on thursday marge ordered them all <laughs> thank you marge and one stronger than a storm I can't wait for you to receive your order too, Michelle. Were you on here when I packaged your order? Hey, Missy Got. Thanks for being on here. Dee, did you place an order? Two shea butters. Two oatmeal. Balance oil. And stronger. All right. So I think it will fit in this box. Thank you guys for the hearts. I thought I saw your name, D. Your order is on here. I think it's probably about, let me see where you are. You are. Okay. 
Oh, you on down the list, D. <laughs> Since you're on here, let me move your order up. Oh, yeah, you way on down the list. So you can see me packaging your order. I got a chance to meet D out on the East Coast. Okay, I move you up, D, so you can see me package your order. How is school? Oh, thank you, Bryn K. I'm incredibly proud of you, Tiffany. Keep doing you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Take the <laughs> oh, you just hopped on, Michelle? Okay, so earlier in the video, I packaged your order and I called you out <laughs> and was just saying that you and I didn't get a chance to meet at one of my meetups in California and hopefully our paths crossed. But I've already packaged your order. Thank you, thank you. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Apple. I don't know who Apple is, but I appreciate your support. <laughs> so you guys don't have any questions for me? Okay. Two shea butters. oatmeal soaps face oil and stickers some music let's listen to the radio but I turned it off because it's right by the camera I knew you guys didn't want that noise in the background it feels so quiet this campground that I'm staying at I'm gonna do a review of it oh, it's a really nice campground a very nice campground so I'm gonna give you guys a review. Is that one sticker or two? Alright, All right, Miss Margaret, your order has been packed. Just need to go back and add a little bit of stuffing. I'm running out of room to your orders. Alright, I'm going to do a couple more orders live and then I'm going to get off of here oh D I wish you luck on your midterm exam he's in college I'm very proud of him heavenly to heavenly ask me how did my dates go Heavenly, I talked about it at the end of my skincare routine video. Um, that was the last video that I post. I talked about it probably about five or six minutes. So check it out. But I did share how it went. I want to be able to meet you one day, maybe. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. Never mind, I'm not going to say it. Carol, hi Carol. I think I've already processed your order. I think I've already processed your order, Carol. I'm getting ready to do D's. 
Let's see. But Miss Carol, I think. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't processed your order. Is the last digit in your zip code a five? Is that you, Carol? Because I have two Carols. I have two Vickies. Okay. So then after I process Damon's order, I will process yours, Carol. Let me go back to it. Uh-oh. Is there anyone else on the live who placed an order and would like to see me process it? So I have D and I have Carol. Fiona, I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> She's one of my favorite followers. She keeps me laughing. All right, Damon, you got fresh cotton wax melt, oatmeal soap bar, some good old shea butter. which box I think this box may be too little that's going to be a yes <laughs> it's too little I have these boxes these teeny teeny tiny boxes for candles That's what those are for. <laughs> Someone asked me if my dates are on the live stream. I don't know. I don't know. No, Fiona. <laughs> you set aside only one day for Okay, so D, D asked me, do I set aside one day for fulfilling orders? Yes, I do not fulfill orders on the days that I make product. There's just no way. Um, so yes, I set aside a date. So the orders, once the website and the products back on the website Thursday, all of those orders that come in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I will process them on Sunday and mail them out on Monday. I forgot all about Zazzle. Okay, so Zazzle print label stickers. I need to look into them. I forgot all about Zazzle. <laughs> Thank you, Carletta. Simply Tash, this is your first live. Thank you, welcome. So this is different than my typical live. I'm normally sitting in front of the camera answering questions, usually like a live Q&A, um, but I thought it would be fun to see the behind the scenes of how I work and process orders in this van. And so, sorry that you guys are getting my side view and not the front view. So someone asked me, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your name, Z Salico, Z Salico. Do I make the orders in the van? Do I make everything in the van? Yes, I make everything in the van. So I mentioned earlier in the live that it's hard to film all of this. One, I have a lot of footage. I've done eight second clips of me making the butters and the oils and different things like that. I will share them on Instagram. Um, at some point, I will share on my story. So I do post a lot to my Instagram stories versus my timeline. I post a lot on Instagram stories. Who's lurking in the bushes? <laughs> Hi Dolores, blessings, blessings to you too. Uh, 
Okay, maybe you guys are having a conversation with someone else. About somebody lurking in the bush. Okay. Damon? Yep, that's what I'm working on. I think this box is too, too big. So, I'm going to give you a pretty bubble meller. Actually, I want to put the soap in first. Soap. And on Thursday, when I go live making my wax melts, I have a new scent that I've been working on, and I'm excited about it. All right, Damon, I gave you a cute pink bubble meller because... The box is way too big. So as I mentioned earlier, these are going out tomorrow. So all the orders that were placed are going out tomorrow. And any new orders are going out on Thursday. Damon thank you for your order and good luck on your exam I appreciate you getting on the live thank you Claudia said Tiffany how old are you forever 21 <laughs> forever 21 Claudia that's how old I am sweet girl that's how old I am so I store I'm going to show you guys all of my soaps, how I keep everything organized. I have a container for everything. So this here, if I can get it, so I'm trying to put the lid on it before I pick it up because I don't want it to fall out my hand. It's heavy. All right. So this is the container that I keep all of my soaps in. Um, it makes it easy to keep them organized. So I have a container that I keep my soaps in. I have a container that I keep um, my butters in. I have a separate container that I keep like my different molds that I use for the soaps. So there's a container for everything and it makes it easy and it keeps everything organized. I love every time I open up this container, it smells so good. Smells good. Alright. Alright, Curl, you have two oatmeal soap bars. Thank you so much for your order. I appreciate it. Did I answer Claudia's question? Claudia asked me how old I am. And I'm sorry I can't remember if I answered. I think I did. But forever 21. <laughs> That's my response. Every time somebody asks me how old I am, I say forever 21. Or I say, oh, I'm closer to 60 than I want to be. some other paper something colorful oh there, there went my wee boost my 
that's my cell phone booster so I get a better signal I don't know if you guys can see oh yeah it's in the camera so I can get a better signal being in the campground all right Carol I'm adding some pink paper to your order and I think I want to do pink and black I think that'd be pretty well No, 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 no fall lid. I think that'd be a pretty color. What do you guys think? Hot pink and black? RL, do you have a YouTube channel? Good night, Penella. I know some of you guys are on the East Coast and it is later in the night. I appreciate you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What happened to my cash out? I forgot to put it in the description box of the video. I forgot. I forgot to put my links in the description box of the video. <laughs> I've had a very busy nine days of working, 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 working. So, I forgot. And I don't even know it by heart. Sorry. But you know what? It's in my last video. It's in the description box of my last video. So if anyone's interested, that's where it is. And I'll buy me a tape dispenser. Miss Carol, your order has been packaged. And I'm adding a magnet to your order. Is there anyone else on here that placed an order and would like to see me package your order? How long have I been on here? Ooh, almost two hours. So I am going to wrap this up because that means I've been standing for two hours straight and I need to take a sit down break. Yes, it's been almost two hours. Um, are there any questions or is there anyone? Oh, Carol, <laughs> I'm excited for you. Um, is there anyone else on here that would like to see me process their order. Okay, now Tiffany, just turn it in. Do you use fresher package? Okay, so Calvin asked me, do I use any type of freshening package packets in my um, clothes? I do not. I don't use anything. I don't have an issue with smells in my van or clothes or anything like that. Um, so no, I don't use anything. Okay. 
Karen, I would love to do a craft alone. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's been, like I said, I've been very busy, so it's hard to film everything. But I got a chance, um, one of the campgrounds I was staying at, they had, well, actually two campgrounds I was staying at, they had some crafts where you can paint. You guys may not be able to see. I got a chance to paint. It's supposed to be a peacock's feather. <laughs> it doesn't look like one. But whatever it is, I think it's cute and colorful. And so I got a chance to do some painting projects, which was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I just don't get a chance to film everything. Or if I do, I just haven't had a chance to edit. <laughs> Fiona, where is Tiffany.com? That's the website. You are so cute. All right, three more minutes. Okay, so someone asked me how often do I go live? Um, not a lot. I don't go live often. Uh, it's hard to say. Maybe three or four times a year. I don't go live often. But I've been busy and I haven't been able to edit videos. So that's why I went live. But I am going live again on Thursday. So for those of you that missed the beginning of this video, um, I am going live on Thursday if my products come in to show you how I make my wax melt. I got a lot of requests for that. So it'll be easy for me just to do a live stream video on Thursday if they come in. Also on Thursday, um, my products will be back in stock. So if you visit the website, my butters and things like that, they are out of stock. They will be back in stock on Thursday. So I will make mention of that. Um, I'll probably post under the community tab so you guys can um, check it out. So that's happening on Thursday. Yes, Apple was great hanging with you as well. Thank you so much. Um, could you see yourself buying a tiny house at some point? No, no tiny house. I do. I love being mobile. I cannot... Um, I cannot transport a tiny house around. I've seen a few people that have done it. That's not something that I would, um, that's not something I would want to do. I want a bigger motorhome. I need more space. I make it work in the stand because I am extremely organized. And for those of you that haven't heard this, like some of my older followers, they know this. I spent my career as an executive assistant. So I know all about organization, being in that role. And so um, that's how I make it work. But if I was not organized, I, it would be a chaotic mess trying to do this in the van. But because I am organized, I make it work. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, so what time on Thursday? I don't, hold on just a second. <laughs> um, what time on Thursday? I haven't decided. Most likely it'll be late in the evening on Thursday. Since I'm sure most of everyone is at work. Um, if I started at five o'clock like I did today, of course, the everyone that's on the West Coast, you're probably driving home. So you have to watch the replay. I don't want to have it too late. So I don't know, maybe five o'clock again, which if you're central, what would that be? Seven o'clock, East Coast, eight o'clock. So I don't know. We just have to see. But I do plan on going live. All right, guys, I think I've answered... Uh-oh, is it hard to drive a van that size? No, it is not hard to drive these vans. It is very easy to drive these vans. Um, it, the only challenge that I have, the town that I'm staying in and the town that I previously left, the parking lots aren't that big. And so even though my motorhome is small, it still was a lot of work just trying to drive around the town. I've mentioned that, I think, in one of my videos that I had to go to the post office. I end up parking across the street because I couldn't get in the post office parking lot. There's, um, I wish I had a car, and I talked about that in previous videos. It will make life a lot easier now that I'm running this business because if you look, I cannot move the van. I'm not taking this products off the counter. I sterilize. I clean my counter. You know, I got everything set up, ready to package. I'm not moving anything. And so... Um, it's challenging because if I did need to go out and pick up something, then 
I would have to move the things, which, like I said, that's something that I don't want to do. But if I had a car, I can just hop in a car and take care of my business. I do have a bicycle, so that's what I've been doing. And like I said, you guys will see um, me going to the post office on tomorrow because I still don't want to move the van. Um, <laughs> I don't want to move the van, so the bike has definitely come in handy for those quick trips. It is a full throttle, which I'll talk about that. Um, and so, yeah, I can just zip to the post office, Dollar Tree. I went to Walmart. Um, I plan on riding it to the beach on Tuesday. So, yes, it's been nice having that extra form of transportation. But a car can only provide the luxury that a car can provide. And I do miss having a car now that I'm doing this. I miss having it because if I need to go somewhere, I got to wait a day until I'm able to move everything and hit the road so that's that but no they're not hard to drive uh, oh rachel thank you so much so rachel asked me about chasm fest oh my god i almost forgot chasm fest is having an event um next month in texas for the solar eclipse i forgot all about it i told jp i would mention in my video i don't have the link um, in the description box forgive me but it is chasmfest.com check it out i've talked about chasm fest many times it is a great event to attend jp and elena um they're awesome people they will be there for the event so please check it out i won't be there because i'm out on the west coast unfortunately i won't be at chasm fest but there is an event next month so if you can join them for the solar eclipse please do um, and I will, once this live is over, I will go, well, no, just check out chasmfest.com because I want to stay focused. I have a tendency to do too much and I'm working on that. Chasmfest.com is the website uh, for you to check it out. Um, and let me double check while I'm telling you that. Hold on. That I will do. I double check and make sure I'm giving you the right website. Yes, so it's Chasm Fest, F E S T. So C H A S M F E S T dot com. And the event is in April. And then they're having another event, which is the camping event, October 25th through the 28th. I know I had mentioned earlier. Uh, this year that I was not attending any events, but most likely I will be attending Chasm Fest. I'm not going to have a meetup, but I most likely will attend Chasm Fest. And if you're interested in coming out, you're more than welcome to do so. But I will not be having a camping um, meetup, but I may attend that event and I'll let you guys know closer to closer to the date. All right. So I think I got all of your questions. And yes, Chasm Fest is a yearly event. Okay. All right, guys. I think I got all of your questions. Yeah. I think I got all of your questions. And I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you again for all of your support on the channel, purchasing my products, watching my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I have not been able to get to everyone's comments, but I do read them. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the encouragement. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will come back on Thursday. Um, if my products come in, I'm going to tra track my packages. Um, hopefully they get here early enough and I can set up and go live on Thursday and give you guys more notice than what I did today. This is kind of a last minute notice, but I appreciate each and every one of you, 225 of you for being here. I appreciate the monetary gift that you gave. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm going to finish processing your orders. It is 7.15. Yep, 7 o'clock. I'm going to finish processing your orders, get something to eat, and everything is going in the mail and any orders that came in after today, they are going in the mail on Thursday. Maybe Wednesday. I may get them out Wednesday, but yeah, they're definitely going in the mail. So I love you. Thank you so much for your support, and I will see you guys on Thursday. <laughs> Bye, Samantha. Bye, Miss Virgo. Have a good night as well. Blessings to you, too.